Hi YouTube. I'm uh, working on my snowmobile here. I'm having some issues with my clutch. My snowmobile clutch. I'm going to take this engine out here and I'm going to replace it and put it into my hovercraft. Now my hovercraft has got a 277 Rotax in it right now, but I can't seem to get it to run right. So I'm going to take and plus it doesn't seem like it has enough power. I bought six more blades for the prop and I'm putting this 500cc formula motor onto it. See if it'll give me enough power to, to get me scooting across the, the land. It's a little scat. Uh, and I'm really anxious to get it out on the ice and have some fun with it. With all the other many projects that I have here, I thought maybe I'd uh, take this motor out. I picked it up relatively cheap, and I come across this uh, pretty neat trick, and I thought I'd share it with you. I hope it works, because if it doesn't, <laughs> it's not going to be good. Anyhow, what I got to do is I got to get this belt off, and because right now it's sitting on the track, I can't get the belt off without spinning it. Anyhow, I'm going to do this here real quick. But first of all, I got to raise the, I got to tip the snowmobile on its side. I've already put the pipe tape on the bolt after I took it out. Hopefully it's enough to seal it up. And then um, once we get it tipped on its side, we'll see what happens. I just bought the fix this thing. Let's see here. I'll be right back. <laughs> 